Good morning, everyone. I hope you had a great weekend. It's Rachel here, and we are going to do just a sec. Um, we're going to make some clusters. Uh, now I'll try and talk louder. A couple of ladies said that the last video I got a bit too relaxed and um, and it, I went a bit quiet. So I've just been. I didn't know what to do. I've been procrastinating all morning. So I, I, <laughs> I've been swishing some paint around just on straw paper and book page. So I'll grab this one and then I did this one the other day. And then this one was my, my underpiece from the other day too. So I could use those. I like these. Um, I just want to show you also, just let me know. I did um, continue on and do a few of these to put as side tucks. So if you like me to um, see me make some of those, um, just let me know in the comments and I'll make some in tomorrow's video if you want to. Um, and then uh, I also did another one of those. And a couple of ladies said what... Uh, I did show it in the video what was I intending on doing them just with them just so this uh, let me see let me grab something um, okay so this is just that I've got this folded actually for a journal and I didn't use it so just say so this is my journal page here they get glued on the edge of the page like so so you glue it around here and around here and the same on that side and then you've got a pocket and then you can put something inside that's with those and then these ones i made at see this is a bit long for this paper so i would i would actually i would have to keep this one for a bigger journal but this one i can trim off maybe a bit down the bottom and i would put that as a side tuck so do a little snip there and it's a side tuck or you could just tip it in and decorate that side and have it as a little peekaboo sort of window sort of thing so I've got, you know, I've still got some leftover painted and I think I put some more away um, in my to-do box. So if you want to see me work on those, I will be happy to do it. But I thought I might make some clusters. Now, I haven't made clusters for quite some time. So I'm going to have a sip of coffee. And we will get cracking with clusters. So I'm thinking I might just do a little bit of stamping on here. And I'm thinking I could grab just a sec. I don't know if they'll show up. I've got some, I'll definitely take that one. I like that one. But I've got some Tim Holtz inks here. I don't know much about his inks. I've got oxides and inks. I don't know. I just use them as, as you know, regular ink. Um, but they might not show up so well because they're pale colours. But I just want to give it a go with this one. And I might use this grid and do just a tiny bit of stamping on it let's see what it looks like oh it does show up okay just do some random stamping here and there now let's not forget that this is going to be a i'm gonna rip it up and and um and do some what are they called clusters so uh, i had another color just a sec do i want that one here oh, I've got this color oh let's do some green could have some scripty do on I love this one it's not in great condition but anyway let's see what happens here put some of this on here and of course some of this will be covered up because um I think this stamp is not in the best state. Um, right. I've never used this colour before, so let's see what this looks like. I don't even know if any... It might even be dry. I, don't, I didn't see that anything was... Oh, a little bit. it over there okay let's see what happens there okay so I'm 
nice macchiato. I'm just going to tear pieces off here. I'm not going to do it. I have done it in the past with like the whole sheet. Isn't that pretty? See, this is what I mean. Like as a whole, I don't like it. But when you rip it up into little pieces, I love it. So I want to grab just random different things that I am going to glue on there to make my, I don't want that color, to make my, just looking around to see what other bits and pieces I have, um, clusters. I have a little eye here. So these are just things on my table. I do like that. I might just take that little bit off so it's not quite as big. Put that on there. I'm going to put that one there for sure. So let's glue that down. Maybe I'll tear up and we'll just work, like maybe I'll just tear up a few and work across. I might have some bigger ones. I'm just going to take that bit off. That's what I'm going to do. I'm making clusters and we're going to just work across them. That one. Just put a few at a time so it doesn't become too confusing. I'll keep that little bit. Okay, so we need some book page. I've got some bits of book page. Look, this is ripped. Isn't that lovely? Maybe we can have... See, even just the word. Just put that... On, oh, I love that. Uh, glue. I need glue. I'm going to put that there. I love that. We might pull out bits and pieces of washi. We might pull out stamps. I don't know. I'm just going to... We, we might have Tracy labels. Just bits and pieces. I was going to put that... There, I love the colour of that with that. And there's little flowers painted there. Not flowers, leaves. We could pull out some paint. Do I have any? Oh, I don't have any water. I'll have to go and get some. I'm just loving having my own background to work with. And then we've got this word, histoire. Histoire? I don't know how you say it. We could put, oh, maybe we could put that there. Oh, I like that. I do. I put on my Sloppy Joe when I pull out the paints. Um, sloppy Joe in America, sweat, sweatshirt in Australia, Sloppy Joe. Um, or hoodie. Hoodie. It's a hoodie. Um, yeah, I put that on when I'm doing, when I'm painting and stuff like that because I don't want to get paint on my, oh, I like that there, um, on my, you know, jumpers. Oh, sweaters. Jumpers, sweaters. Just telling you in all languages. Okay, I haven't got anything on these yet. But I am loving the font on this poor ripped page. Yep, I'll put that there. Nothing like a bit of old and new. I really love the old and new. Um, it's just a lovely, I feel like it's a lovely combination. There. And put that one there. Okay. And then what? Poor little thing. I can't find a home for her. Him, her. Don't know. Um, oh, there's those are pages. We'll put those aside. I haven't pulled anything out yet. So, oh, let's have a look here in the stamped bits. See, sometimes some of these can look really nice too. I just don't want to cover things up. I could fussy cut that. I love that. I have 
these little things. Good thing you have, it's good to have these little things um, stamped or ready to go. Just pull a few out. Oh, these aren't stamped, but they could be good. Oh, lots of little things in here to play with. Look at those. Oh, here's another flower. Just a sec. Oh, oh. Okay. Numbers. Right. That's enough. Oh, and the circles, the dreaded circles. They're still sitting there. The dreaded circles. They are dreaded to me. Right. Oh, and I've got these strips from Ripping Down Pages too that I can also use. And I like to keep those. These are great for this sort of thing. Just take the white off and maybe I would just keep the, the written bit and you could add it there or I don't want to go down maybe there. Oh, maybe over there. I don't know. Just put it on. And that was, I think I'd punched out, um, I'd cut out a, a label, but I think I'm going to fussy cut that flower out. Because I always forget you can fussy cut your stamped things. Why not? I have not made, I don't think, I probably haven't made any clusters for like a year or something. Isn't it amazing? And every time you make them, they come out totally different. So they can be quite, um, you know, sometimes it can be hard to do them because you're working on a small space and so you don't have the freedom to do what you would do if you're working on a larger area. So you do need to have little bits around you that can fit on the small space. Let's see if I would like to put this one. I think I would like it there. Maybe I did like that there, but then I've got two. What's bothering me with this one is I don't like the two vertical, but I did like the color of that there. And I don't want to, I could go like that or have it, I have it. Oh, I'll put it across. Okay, so that one I've worked out for the moment. Now, just tear these things down. Oh, that's got a bit of white on it. We'll take that off. Oh, I think I might like just like a little piece there. And... We'll find a focal point. Let's just cut this one out too. So if you have some little floral stamps or, you know, like little bunnies or birds and things like that, maybe just pre-stamp a few because they can, oh, see, there we go. I like that one. And they might get a Tracy label. They might because sometimes Tracy labels just have to happen. And we also have this lovely, I love this stamp. Got it on AliExpress. It's just a, it's just dots, but it kind of looks a little bit like a, a foshi. I'll say a foshi because I don't want to get in trouble calling it a, a washi when it's not exactly a washi. It's a foshi. We don't want to, the, you know, the washi police to come out and tell us off because it makes us feel bad. I like that one on there, maybe. And I need a focal. Here's a circle. So you can add a circle somewhere. This is a circle in a square. So I actually find that. And I might slip that under there for another layer. And I do have these. Here's another circle. Um, I have these labels too. I could just cut out the frame. Anyway, let's see what other focal points we can have. So I'm liking those two. I'll just put those aside. And let's have a look at these. Um, sounds like I'm saying a prayer. I don't mind a seven. I'm going to put the seven there. I think that one's just going to be like that. But I might, I might put. I do. I'm. I'm going to pull out my Tracy labels. I do warn you. I pull out my Bodgy, my Bodgy um, AliExpress one that says Carriat Post Postal. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Okay, this one. No, I don't want anything like that. Here's a flower. We might need a flower. 
and pull that one out. I don't have any bunnies in here or anything. I didn't stamp any of those. Oh, little pieces of paper. They're good. Little pieces of background papers. I like those too. Oh, these are all the things that I had in the trays, if you remember, um, that I was using to do, I can't remember what. I'm sure you guys remember what I was doing because I cannot remember. Okay, let's see here. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to glue these down first. I'm going to put that little purple one there because I think that'll be good. I might just use the Tom Tombow. I was going to say the Tombow, <laughs> the Tombow glue, uh, just um, because it's a little bit, I think with the glue stick, I'll be tearing it apart. Come on. There we go. Put that on there. So it's a little bit, I guess it's a little, oh, I know what we were making. We were making the faux sheet on the, on the tracing paper. That's what we were doing. I need to find my card. Here it is. That's what I need. This. We were making this. This is what I had all the pieces for to make that. I've got one little bit left. Okay. And then I was going to put that across the top. I can close that. Now that I, I bought the um, refill for the Tombow, I've hardly even used it. The glue, I want to say. Put that across there. And then we need to glue this on. So I hope everyone had a lovely weekend. Oh, we were pretty busy, I think. Not, uh, yeah, during the day a little bit and then... Um, it was our friend's 50th birthday, so we had to go and, it was a surprise birthday, so we went and did that. And Tracy Lake, so let's just have a little look and see. I mean, there's a lot happening on there. We might not need one. I'm feeling like I might like a, a bluey sort of one. Just cut it onto there. and I'm just wondering oh yes I do I think it lifts it just that little bit put that in the rubbish and there we go and then we'll have a chat about what to do with these sorts of things afterwards for those who are not used to it um, I might do some mark making on there. I'm looking at that. Anyway, hopefully I remember. I really like this one. This will be like a hoardy sort of one, I think. That was going to go down there. I nearly forgot. I nearly forgot where I was going to put it. And that this flower was just stamped um, on old page this one I don't think I'm going to put anything else on that one I really just like it as it is I think if you sort of sort of tear up a few I don't like to line things up if you tear up a few um, then you know, and you're auditioning things, chances are that the one piece that you're auditioning to put down somewhere, um, you might find a spot for it. I've moved that over there. You might find a spot for it. Um, if you've got a few out, you know, sort of laid out and you just test it here, 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 and then it goes on one. So that way, because if you only have one, then you... Um, you know, have to pick up the same pieces a million times till you find a home for them. So it's a good idea, I think, to have them all sort of laid out. I'm just going to trim this one down and see if I like that. It's one of my favourite ones, I think. I like. I don't know, I just like the font and the colour of it. Mm. 
I like that. I'm not sure though. Okay, well, I'll just put that one aside. And then we've got to finish off this one we haven't really. We could just put, I might fussy cut that out as well. Because I'm not wanting things that are too, you know, I don't want to cover up everything. So that's why I'm fussy cutting out. Because otherwise it was on quite nice, you know, um, tea dyed paper. So it was quite nice as it was, but I don't want to cover up all of my background. That's definitely better and I think I like it over there and I could have do I want this no maybe without that let's just glue that down I know I'm trying to bring up my word histoire but it is peekabooing out from behind so that's all right Helps if you glue your things properly. Um, let's just have a little look here. I don't think so. No, I don't want to cover all of that up. So we'll just do some mark making. So we'll just put those aside and we'll do a couple more. So that's that sheet. Let's see what else we've got. Just this plain one here. Um, maybe I'll stamp with this. And some brown I think that one turns out better that stamp okay I'm not going to stamp all of it because I'm not necessarily going to use all of that. And I think that'll do. We'll just tear, maybe make some smaller ones. A long one. Tear that off. Okay. back to this lovely book page here and I'm going to glue that on there I'm not going to try not to overthink it because when you overthink it you, that's when you get stuck you don't seem to be able to get it done so this was um, it was actually glued to a cover and it was coming off I just thought it was lovely. That up there. I just put that right across there. It's a nice old piece of paper. Okay, 
then let's see what we have here. We have lots of papers here. Oh, I like that. I'm trying to find where I put my card. glue that one. Oh yes, I like that colour there. So now they've all got something on them. That one, other one's got two things on it. Oh, I quite like that. There, or No, I think I'll put it there. I'm just going to tear that off because that, otherwise it's upside down. Not that it really matters. Of course you can pull out cheesecloth and all that kind of thing too. That's always very nice to put onto these. So that one I think has got enough, it needs a focal point. That probably is okay there. And, oh, I like that. Oh, I'll put that up. Up there, I think. That came right through. Hmm, look, it's the same on both sides. Must have been a very thin, thin paper. And then this one... Oh, here's some numbers. Oh, I like that. I'm just going to put that across there. I probably, I might not put anything else in there. I might just do some marks. I think I'll put that one aside because I quite like... I just like the look of it and I don't want to cover, I'm not going to cover all of that up, so I'll leave that. And then here, I'm wondering, I could stick a bit of, I think I'll stick that there. I think I was going to go that way. Okay, so these, we still need to finish these. Right. I'm wondering if one of these, I love these, um, they're cotton flowers. Are they, do you call them flowers? This is just some vintage paper from the 1959. the bottom and I want to make sure because it's you know you know it's kind of brittle sort of paper I've just got to be careful gluing because I tend to rip things and then have to put them back together like a jigsaw puzzle okay I think that's enough on that one and then here Is that too fresh? I think it's too fresh. Hmm. I 
quite like that. What about if we do the frame? I'm going to cut out the frame. First, I'm just going to cut it out like that. See if I want to keep the top and bottom bit. Yeah. I'm going to put, oh, I like that. I'm going to put that on there using my Tombow glue. So these, um, these are those pop-out ones that I got on AliExpress. Oops. And I could just even leave that like that and not even put anything else on it. And then here, just a little something. I quite like that, so I think I'll just put that one on there. So we haven't gone all botanical and florally. We've done some more schematic sort of looking ones. Now I'm going to grab my, I'll just close my glue, and I'm going to grab my, I think I'll grab the pencils. Oh, some are missing. They're in, they're in the, the rabbit there. Here they are. Oh, there's more than that missing. Where are the other ones? What size is that? pull these out. These are gel pens. See what happens. That one goes there. Don't know where the other ones are. There's three missing. Hmm. Okay, put those over here. And we're just going to put some little marks on here. I think it just makes it Just ties it all together. Okay, I think that one's done. This one I might just go like this. I'm just trying to make myself be messy here. Okay. Do I want to add that colour? No, I don't think so. I think that's enough on that one. Now this one. I just feel like if you do it here and there, bit all over it sort of ties it all together not that one
Okay. Now, does this one have water in it? It does. Does it work? No. So that one works, but I think I'll try. I've got so I dropped some water onto my thing. I might use this. You can get the water onto your pencil and do little painterly marks. like that. I'm just wondering about this one if it needs a little bit of something else. I'll leave that off and I'll just do some doodling. Now let's do that wet brush again. Let me just squirt out some more water. I'm just squirting out some water onto the book page. Just give that a clean and I'm thinking I might like something like this sort of colour. Let's see, I'll probably, hopefully I don't hate it. Okay, and then this one here, I don't think it needs too much, just have some little markings, I'll just use this little, And that one doesn't need too much. Where's the... that one I really like this color too I've used that one a lot it's a mess such a nice color it's like a turquoisey blue and I like it when you put the water on the these are Derwent ink tents um, pencils and when you put the water on them you get this nice blobby effect made a bit of a mess there I 
and maybe a little bit up there. So there we go. So that is it. I've had a, a play around making um, <laughs> clusters with a difference. So we started off with a painted, just swooshed around some chalk paint on the straw paper. And then I did a little bit of, um, you know, words from book pages and then just little pieces of scraps, maybe some stamped old vintage papers like those little flowers. You could have little, um, little, you know, birds or butterflies, as I mentioned, or bees, or a little crown. And then just little pieces of paper just to create these lovely clusters. And there was a, a, a frame. And there we have it. So I'm really pleased with that. I haven't done those for a while. Well, I haven't done them like this ever before with the painted background. But there, yeah, just a bit of fun. Oh, I did stamping as well. A bit of stamping. So, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that and you feel inspired and make some. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you again soon. Bye. Oops, I'm back. I told a porcupine. I said I was going to show you how I used them. And I was sitting here thinking, oh, I've got to tidy up all this mess now. And and I didn't show you how I was going to use them. So I just moved my mess out of the way. One thing is, just say you have a, we'll go back to this journal page. Or, or if you have, you know, this is, I put this as a journal page here. It's one of the ones I made a boo-boo uh, printing. So obviously you can put them on your journal page, glue them on two sides and it's a tuck spot. Or it could be glued down there as a tuck spot or it could just decorate a page and hang out the side and, and be a sort of tab as well. So that's one way. Uh, also on this page, just so you can see. I think it's lovely on that blue grid paper. And then the other way I can use them is, just say I wanted to make some tags so let's take a pretty paper like this one and what will I glue it to I know I've got some old plain book pages that I could glue it to let me just find one actually I've got some tea dyed paper I could glue it to that so let's make a tag so I need my cutter Oh no, I'll just tear it. I'll just tear it. Where's my ruler? I'll tear it with this ruler. So I'll make a nice wide tag. So I'll, I won't actually, I'm just going to tear it down like this as well because I have to decide how big I want my tag to be, about that big. And then I will glue it to my tea dyed paper. <clears throat> And I'm choosing this paper just because it's a lovely background paper. That's why I chose it. it. Just it's a nice thing to have, you know, peeking out from behind. So we'll glue that on there. And I'll just flip it over and just flatten it out a bit. going that way and I'm going to snip my corners and I might snip the bottom corners up too because I like to do that and I think I'll use this punch I love this is the um, European punch I just eyeball where the center is, punch that out, and then choose one of these clusters that I've made to decorate my tag. If I've got one big enough, probably this one. No, not that one. That one there. I think I might use that one. Or, this one's too small. Oh, I quite like that one too. But what I can do also is 
get some book page. I'll probably get choose a book page, an old book page that is different, not you know, not too aren't too yellowy. So this one's not too yellowy. I'll just turn this one off. And that's going to break it up a little bit, put a bit of interest. I'll put that there and have that. You see, I like the way that looks. So we'll glue that down. So it's almost like you've got a collage ready for your tag, like you're not collaging on your onto your tag exactly, 100%. You've already got a collage pre-made. So I can do that and then glue this on. I can't believe I forgot to do that. I said I said I was going to do that. Lucky I remembered because it would have felt incomplete. And I might even slide that up over there, not center it. And then I can add something else down here. So you could add a washi. You could add, um, you know, different color piece of paper. I quite like the blues on the blues. You could add, um, what was I thinking? So you could add a washi there. Don't know whether I'd add these ones that I stamped on book page because it's book page. See how it, I don't like it like that. It, it's too blendy. Um, I like things to stand out a little bit. So, well, the other thing you could add is like a little, not that one, not that colour. You could add a Tracy label. This one doesn't have a Tracy label, so there's room for that. And let's see what kind of colour would we like. I wouldn't, well, you could do navy blue. That could be scripty. That could be nice. Or you could do... I don't mind the brown either. I was thinking not brown, but actually that one's quite good. No, that, see, that's that one I don't choose because it's very similar to that colour. So I need to find a different one. Could be that one. Could have green. I like the green. We'll do the green. Let's go with the green. Let's lock it in. And you can also do pockets. You can put your um, your plaster on a pocket. Like maybe we'll pull out just quickly because I'd like to show a couple of things maybe. I love this. Um, maybe a piece of um, scrapbooking. I'm going to put that there like that. And there we go. And I love that. I think that is a super tag. Really nice with a cluster on it. And then the other thing is, I was thinking you could grab a piece of scrapbooking paper. So let's see what I have in here. I found them because I had lost my scraps. Let's see, where are they? That's not them. There we go. Here they are. Let's see if we've got anything. That's not a bad one. I'm just going to pull out a few different types and then I'll see because I like to audition as you know I'm always auditioning that's a journal card but I'm not I wouldn't I don't really do um, seaside journals and it's got a fish on it and so I wouldn't use it I know myself so I could use that side though even though it's underwater I don't have too many scraps in here I haven't been using my scrapbooking paper very much lately what happens well first of all we've got this one I mean that could be turned into a tag isn't that lovely on that side too put that up. I mean I think that's so pretty on there what could you put under it
make a lovely side tuck. See, that would be good. But then we've also got this side, which could be more interesting. Oh, yes, that's even more interesting. So that's a possibility. We'll just put that aside. That could be a nice big tag or a side tuck, and you could have a lovely label there just to fill in that spot. Actually, where did I put them? I cut, I printed them out again. I think they're under. Yeah, I printed out my special ones. Oh, I can't find them now. I know I've got them here somewhere. Where did I put them? Is this them? Yes. I was thinking one of these could be really nice, like this one. Maybe, I think this size is going to be good. So this can be a label, or not a label, what am I saying? A tag, a big tag or a big journal card, or it could be a side tuck or a belly band. And I love those colours. So I'm going to do that one. I like that. That one's going to be locked in. See, that's where I was um, wetting my brush on the paper. Looks like mould. Just thought I might put that out there have that there I love that oh blob of glue I'm the blue glue glue blobber put this I'm feeling a bit lost actually if I'm honest I'm feeling a bit lost since I stopped my Roxy's Weekly Challenge, I feel like I've, I've got no direction. I just like all the different layers it creates. Let's just fold that over and glue this down. Bit of this I love I love navy blue a dark blue I think that's really nice do I want it like that or do I want it oh I think I'll have it like that different direction that's what it's what's getting me is changing the direction that's when I then I'm like oh yes I like that so yes do remember to change directions every so often when you're putting things down okay and there we go so there that can be a side tuck or become a tag and I would put something on the back and then I wanted to see I also wanted to make like a pocket what's bothering me are the bubbles I don't want the bubbles because I know that it, there's a fish on the other side so I need to find something to sort of distract us from the bubbles so that could be good I'm going to glue that on there anyway regardless of whether I use it or not and cover up the bubbles okay and then I don't know if I want book page let's just have a look Oh, I don't mind a bit of book page. Wouldn't you know? So this one, I might consider it a pocket. I might make it a pocket. Or I could cover up the fishy on the other side and make it a journal card. That could also happen. But only a little bit of book page. And then put that there or that one. Or, I mean, there's other options. Oh, that one. I don't want to use all of them because some of them are good for um, 
side tucks. No, I think the original one. So there's endless possibilities of using these. Endless. You can use them for so many things. Now I think I want it down further. It's only just a tiny bit of book page there. And then just wanted to see, oh, I quite like that. I think, do I want to put it in the middle? I wish you could answer me. Put it, oh, I've got that one there. A bit more of that. We could have some navy. Ooh. I think I'll glue that one up there. So just to give you an idea of the different things that you can do with your clusters, besides just attaching them to a page as a um, side tuck. I love that. And that's to me, will be a pocket. There's the fishy. And then um, the other option is, now do I have a long narrow thing? I don't, but just say this was long and narrow. You could stick that in the middle. Oh, isn't that pretty on there? You could stick that in the middle and it would be on a belly band as well. Just say this was a belly band. Well, this could become a belly band. I could strengthen that and you put that in on the centre of your belly band. And then you could have a bit of flashy shooting up somewhere, a little piece of it, just to sort of blend it in. Um, yeah, so, so many, so many, so many, so many options for your clusters. Now... I am really going. Let me just show you what we made. So this I thought could be a pocket. Um, this is going to be a side tuck or a large journal card or, or tag. And then that's the tag I made. And I love that. And I just put tea dyed paper on the other side. So there we go. And then these are the other clusters I've got left over. So thank you again. I'm really going off now. And I will see you again soon. Bye.